Hey guys, it's Andrew with AndroidCentral.com and we've just pulled down the Android 4.2.2 update for the Sony Xperia ZL and it kind of came out of nowhere as we uh, expected the kind of more flagship uh, Xperia Z to pull it down first. It seems to be uh, hitting OTA on those devices as well and the update is about the same on both. So if you have one device, you're uh, not missing out on anything that's coming to the other one. Now, because this is uh, Android 4.2 coming from 4.1, you don't have the biggest changes in the world. Um, one of the big ones uh, is gonna be lock screen widgets, if that's something that you like. Now the Xperia ZL used to have an option to swipe in from the left to reveal media controls and swipe in from the right to launch the camera. But now you can pull in from the edge of the screen to uh, launch into the camera there, or uh, you can pull in from the left to reveal other widgets uh, and you know add and subtract widgets as you please as well. You can expand the clock here for an example, but you still have the same swipe up or swipe down um, for a large area of the screen to get it to unlock, where you'll find the launcher has changed a little bit. You'll see the status bar and the nav uh, navigation bar uh, are now uh, nearly completely transparent rather than being completely black. But if you jump into an app, you'll notice that the bars do go completely black. They used to be black um, before. And the same uh, will happen with the background when you uh, open up uh, folders now or when you enter the multitasking menu, everything will kind of black out as well. In that multitasking menu, you notice things are a bit different. Um, the previews are much larger. The uh, names and icons are much larger, making it easier uh, to just swipe around on things. And then you have a better picker for these uh, little miniature apps that you can launch and um, a better way to add more as well. So just a lot of polish as far as the launcher goes. When uh, you go into the app drawer, things will be re-enabled. You'll see the Sony apps get reinstalled uh, and enabled if you've disabled them, which is kind of annoying, but that's just how it's gonna go with any of these updates. Everything else, you notice is the same animation. Everything moves around the same. But when you pull down the notification shade, you notice we have new customizable uh, shortcuts up at the top. So when you jump into the settings, you can find it under uh, display and then quick settings. So this is a pretty standard interface for editing these. You see um, the ones that you check are the ones uh, that will show up and then you can use the little uh, dragger on the left to order them the way that you want. So for example, if I wanted to turn off the auto rotate uh, setting, I would turn it off and then you'll have seven here um, rather than uh, eight. And then when you check more, they get smaller. And then when you uncheck them, and then you uncheck and uncheck, you see you'll just uh, go down to one row or add just one more, you'll get six big ones. So you can only order them in order from uh, top left to bottom right. Uh, so you can't control how many lines you have. It's just gonna be based on the number that you select, but it's way better than not having anything uh, configurable. And you have all the major options here. You know, NFC, auto sync, you can turn on and off LTE, um, uh, Wi-Fi hotspot, Wi-Fi. The backlight setting is a little disappointing. It um, either gives you full backlight or about 15% uh, brightness, so we really would prefer, you know, some most widgets will give you options, you know, 10%, 50%, 70%, 100. Um, but it's a good way to just toggle things down um, rather than just have it left on auto all the time. Uh, as far as the changes other than that, there's, uh, you know, the little under the hood stuff from Android 4.2, but the main parts are going to be the lock screen and those uh, toggles. It also now supports uh, 64 gigabyte uh, SD cards if uh, you happen to use one of those on your ZL. So that's a nice improvement, being able to take uh, advantage of the SDXC cards. Um, other than that, it's just a lot of little uh, tweaks, a little tune up, and a nice bit of visual flair as well. So that's just the Android 4.2.2 update on the Sony Xperia ZL. Uh, it's now available even uh, on the US LTE model as we have here.